Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. Many of us are wondering what's going to happen this week in our world, in our country, in our own lives. And the truth is, we don't know a lot. But there are some things that you and I do know. And that is where we're going to pitch our tent every day this week. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host. And I have a friend named Bill who has a fun saying. He'll say, I know in my knower. And he'll follow it up with something that he knows for sure. I can tell you right this minute, I know in my knower, that God knows you personally. Last week, you and I read Psalm 139 together, where it talks about how God knit you together in your mama's womb. He created you on purpose for a purpose, and He's got a plan. Great care went into the thinking up of you. Great care went into the creating of you. You are special. And so today, I want you to hear the words of God from His Word. I want to begin with this very powerful verse from Isaiah 46, 4. And I really want you to just pause whatever you're doing for a hot second, because this is the God of the universe speaking to you right now through His Word. Are you ready? This is His promise to you. And you can take it to the bank. You can know this in your knower. I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. I made you and I will care for you. I will carry you along and save you. Isn't that so tender? God is with you right now and he will be with you until your hair is white with age. What a picture. You can hear the tenderness and love woven through every single word. We're going to move on now to some beautiful words from Jesus, and we'll find them in Luke's gospel, chapter 12, beginning in verse 6. This is Jesus. Picture him speaking to you, sitting on a hillside talking to you. What is the price of five sparrows, two copper coins? Yet God does not forget a single one of them. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. This is Jesus speaking to you right now, telling you that he counts the hairs on your head. This must be a daily job because I have hair fall out all the time. Even when I'm just, you know, mindlessly braiding my hair, working on something, and I can see one fall out. Jesus takes note of that. You don't count the hairs of somebody you don't love. It tells me that God loves me, but it also tells me something else, that he's close. Think of how close you got to be to somebody if you're going to count their hair. Have you ever sat with a child who you love, maybe your own, and brushed their hair? My daughter Hannah had the beautiful, still does, most beautiful ginger-colored hair. It kind of looks like cinnamon, that color. And I remember the fine Winnie the Pooh brush, and I would just run it through her hair so gently. And this is how God views us. He wants us to know that he's close and that he loves us. Let's move on now to Psalm 56, verse 8, as we continue to study just how personal our God gets with us. You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. Now, I want you to think about maybe your mama, maybe yourself. Maybe you have a baby book from one of your children, or your mom has one of you. Oh my goodness, can you picture the little lock of hair? Can you picture the first tooth? Something really personal saved in there, or at least a notation about it? Because I don't think I saved any baby teeth. That's for sure, and my mom sure didn't. But think about the love that goes into pasting a lock of hair into a baby book. God is telling us through his word that he has recorded Every sad thing that has happened to us in his book. He collects 
our tears in his bottle. And I often try to picture the color of my bottle, the shape. I bet it's beautiful. And that icy blue that I love because he's that personal. He knows my favorite color. He knows the way I take my coffee. And ditto kiddo for you. He knows you personally. Listen to Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. So see, he's not up there or out there. He's among us. He's among us right now. Wherever two or more of his followers gather in the name of Jesus, he's with us. Okay, so he's a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Yes, God is telling us in his word right here that he sings over us. Picture your mom or your dad, your grandma or your grandpa singing over you. Again, you got to be close. Picture God sitting on the edge of your bed the next time you are crying yourself to sleep and he is singing over you through his word. He's saying, I love you. I see your sorrows. I made you. You are valuable to me. I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. Can you hear him saying these things over you? If this is new to your knower, I want to pray over you a prayer straight from Ephesians chapter 3, beginning in verse 16, as we wrap up our time. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. Yes, I pray that you would know in your knower how very much God takes personal interest in you and loves you. You are loved. Thank you for listening to the Bible for Busy People. I really enjoy our time together studying God's Word, and I'd love to get to know you. If you ever want to connect, feel free to email me at erica at purposely.com. We're a growing community, and you are welcome here wherever you are in your faith walk. Maybe you're ready to say yes to Jesus and to accept His love and forgiveness. You'll be starting the best journey of your life, or maybe you need someone to pray for you. Check out our show notes for more encouragement. Behind every good thing, there are amazing people who are using their time and talents to make it happen. Thank you to the dream team that makes this podcast possible. Debbie, Donna, and Rebecca, y'all are not only rock star colleagues, but dear friends. I love y'all. The Bible for Busy People is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose. And you are loved.